Hello and welcome. I'm Nafe42 and in this episode I'll be adding a power supply switch to the Anet A8. I recently printed this off and this is actually a cover that will go below the power supply that came with this printer. I also purchased this online from, uh, I think it came from China. It was nearly two pounds but that's really good for what it is. It's actually a powered switch. Um, and also the switch lights up when you switch it on. Obviously not right now because it's not plugged in, but usually when it's plugged in, all powered and stuff, it will do that. What I'm hoping to do is to get uh, the little lugs that go onto here so it is a more uh, more professional connection and also to go onto the little ones as well. I want to try and crimp it and crimp them onto here as well and also onto here just so it's a more reliable connection because um, I want to keep this printer as safe as possible and having the correct size cables and having a secure and strong connection to the printer is uh, quite important. So part one, I printed this out, uh, well after I printed this out I went onto Amazon to go and buy this. This is actually sized up to be uh, the correct size for that. So. So we'll put it in the hole like that. It fits quite nice and snugly. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean even squeeze tight this is pretty good. Very good and very strong in there actually. I'm quite surprised uh, that it actually fits so snug. Um, I've had issues with things fitting snugly with the other printer a few times. Uh, especially when they're printed parts, printed by the printer itself. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this should just go on the front. We'll have to connect the wires up first, and we'll do that now. Welcome back. Okay, so we have uh, put this all in. I put this in, I tied it together with this uh, little cable tie thing that you get on cables usually when you get fresh cables. Um, so we've got the plug here. Time for the moment of truth. Let's plug this uh, kettle lead into it. And there we go. The light came on as well. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so apparently there's something that you can put in here, uh, down here, uh, and that allows you to actually bolt this back so it doesn't, 
because it's a little bit flimsy at the moment with that, uh, which isn't great. But yeah, if I, I'm, I'm going to try and print that out, I'll do that in uh, between now and the next video, and uh, hopefully it'll be a pretty good um, connected unit. So yeah, don't forget to comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter. That's at nato 42 and thanks for watching.